Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Arch with Imran. I'm Imran and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this splatter effect in Photoshop. Really quickly, before we get into it, just want to say I've got a new Instagram, please go check it out. Um, if you do any work following one of my tutorials, please tag me in it and I would love to share it on my page. Let's get to it. So here we are in Photoshop. Now you can, I'm just going to hide these two folders and you'll see what the original line work looks like. Now for this line work, I hand drew it and scanned it in. This is all to scale, um, but you can use whatever line work you'd like. So the purpose of my drawing was actually show, to show the adjacent buildings to the site. So these are real buildings and I would suggest getting an image and you can uh, pick your color choices based on the image. So they're realistic, but still aesthetic. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go to a website like Brush Easy or something similar and you're going to search for splatter and you're going to get a free set of splatter brushes. Now I do recommend going through and looking at all of them. Um, some are better than others but once you've picked one you like download it and then um, double click the download and it should open straight into Photoshop. So now we're back in Photoshop what we're going to do is we're going to go into our brush tool and here where we can select our brushes we're going to hit the drop down. If you double click on that download, it should add a folder here. Um, or you can click on this settings and you can go on import brushes and you just select the file you've downloaded and they should appear here. Now, here you go. You can see I've got a few different ones I've downloaded, but we're going to be using this watercolor splatter today. Now, you can see the different splatter brushes and what I recommend is um, getting your brush settings open. So if you don't have this on, on one of your toolbars, you're going to go to window and you're going to tick on brush settings. Now, the reason I like this, it allows you to change the rotation really easily and it allows you to resize it just from here. OK, so as you guys know, um, I love to use a non-destructive workflow. Now, what this is, is it is it doesn't damage the actual bitmap of the image and all work you do with things like adjustment layers or layer masks are reversible. So I'm going to be doing a layer mask to fill this. Now, to do this, we're going to make a new layer and we're going to use our marquee tool by clicking M and we're going to zoom in and we're going to fill in all the area with light colouring. Now, to increase this area, we're going to hold shift. As you see, that little plus symbol appears on the cursor. That means it's going to add it to our selection now. And you can also do it at the top here. This is not single selection. This is add to selection. This is remove from selection. And this only shows the intersection. So now you're going to hold shift and you're going to select all of this area. Now I've made, I've made the selection already. And what we're going to do is we're going to just click this layer mask button here. Now, what this means is, as you guys know, um, only stuff within this area will show. Now, if you guys see the finished product, you can see to do mine, I did a solid background and I did the splatters on top of darker colors. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to duplicate this. And therefore, we already have the layer mask applied to this new layer and we can delete the contents. I'm going to just select the marquee tool and hit delete. Now, although you won't see anything, uh, you have deleted the top because now if you get the brush, you can change your color. And this splatter will now show up on top. Now, you'll continue doing this for the entire design and then you can play with stuff like textures, opacities and overlays to see what looks cohesive and aesthetically pleasing. Now, I'm just gonna finish the rest of this and I'll do a little time lapse for you guys. Hope you enjoy. Now, keep in mind, if you're using a scan image like I am, you can adjust the levels to make sure it's purely black and white and set it to overlay so it's see-through. There'll be a video in the card. As you can see here, you don't have to just add to the selection. On this layer mask, I've made the entire wall the selection and I'm now removing the windows from that selection.
So guys, that's all for that for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. I just wanna say thank you for all the support. Remember to keep liking and subscribing. It's really helping the channel. And if you have any more requests for content, please leave it in the comments. I'll catch you guys in another one.